Hello everyone, it's me, 73, aka Kenny, and today I will unbox and review the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4K Pen Display Tablet. It's my first unboxing video, so please keep that in mind while watching. But before we start, I want to say, since this is my first new YouTube video in the new year 2024, I hope that you all had a good and nice start into the new year. I had an amazing start, I was dancing like the devil and just in the first 3 hours into the new year I already paid my dues because I returned the smartphone from a girl that lost it next to the dance floor. I know, I'm a real hero, I'm too nice, the girls, they all love me baby. This video is not sponsored and I also made the unboxing a little bit faster because we ain't got no time to waste in the new year. Now to the Huion Canvas Pro 24 4K pen display tablet. Here's a little summary about the stuff that I noticed. The biggest scandal is that you turn on the tablet at 2am in the morning because you want to paint and the entire screen is just pure white. Straight up flash bang to hell, blind and deaf. What CEO, what dude is sitting there at Huion thinking, yeah so when you turn on the tablet we want to have a bright white screen with our logo on it. Fire him dude, get rid of these losers, out, that's a no no. Now to get straight to the point, would I recommend buying the tablet? No. Why? Because I think it's more like an expensive video game character skin that you buy, you know, looking good, feeling good, but in the end of the day, it's all about how you play, man. Buying that nice Counter-Strike Factory new knife skin won't make you run faster, bro. Basically, I bought the tablet to up my game a little bit. For me, it's also more like a commitment to sit down and grind, you know. Now, let's get straight to the unboxing. I also can record speed paintings now in 4K quality, but I don't know if it's really worth it, you know. I mean, I'm always running the extra mile. But the majority of viewers don't care at all and it's taking a million years longer to render and upload. Now let's ask some questions. Do we want to have this tablet? Yes. Do you want to pay 1200 US dollars? Hell no. Does it make you schlong longer? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Do you really need this tablet? No, not in a million years. Are there much much cheaper options out there? Yes, yes and yes. The difference between a normal good drawing tablet and a more professional one are actually not that big. I also don't see it as an investment because let's just face a cold bloody reality, you will never be a real true legendary artist and you will never see a single penny. But what would life be without dreams? We are humans, we must have dreams, right? But seriously, think twice before you spend more than a hundred bucks on art supplies. Wasting your money on an expensive digital drawing tablet won't help you draw better. I would say overall, it's probably the best price performance pen display tablet that you can get right now at the moment. I also wanted to put some white unboxing gloves on, but I didn't have those. Now I have some blue ones on. Oh dude, I'm so professional. What I really like about the arm is that you can also install it on really big fat desks. But I also think that the arm is a little bit too short and it could be longer. And it's not feeling really safe, you know. It's kind of wobbly dobbly and not feeling like pure quality, if you know what I mean. To be honest, I also wanted to take my time with the review because I think it's taking time, a long time to actually feel a product, to understand it and smell it and, and, and embrace it you know I'm also kind of shaky in the video and full of happiness and joy it's a little bit like a small dream that um, comes true for me you know for example no one is telling you that the entire tablet screen is looking like hell after one week of using it because the entire screen will be full of your fat ugly messy fingerprints and who knows if you can see anything on the screen when the sun is shining into your office, you know. It's all stuff that you will um, yeah, understand and that you will experience later. Now what's in the box, in the non-existing packaging is the Canvas Pro 24 4K Penetrator, a Huion Kidai Mini trash can, battery free pen, pen nets, more useless pen nets, pen holder, pen nipple clip for your girlfriend, USB-C to USB-C cable, one meter, USB-A to USB-C cable, 
HDMI Cable, Power Adapter, You Wasted Your Money Glove, Cleaning Trash, Quick Starter Guide Handbook for Mentally Disabled People. Yeah, that's basically it. In the past years, I was always going with the little wiener, the Huion Inspoy Q11K for around about 100 US dollars. But that's not what we are here for. We are here for this bad boy. Long Schlongos, 4K, sexy, Tarantula Colors, Diamond Plug in the Bunker, Anti-Aircraft Stinger System installed, Flagship of Doom, better than cocaine and hookahs on a Sunday morning. Mm. The Hurion Canvas Pro 24 4K Pen Display Tablet. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me get that sucker out of there. You know, and who is sitting there making these names? Inspoy Q11 and Canvas Pro and then, Yo, what is wrong with the marketing, man? Anyway, big display, nice colors, 10 milliseconds reaction time. No useless finger touchpad stuff, no buttons on the sides, how it should be, no drawing gap, aka parallax factor, Mector, fully laminated, standard, feeling good, I like it. It's working how it should work, man. Tja, and here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The absolutely useless, non existing, not used once. Waste of packaging, waste of material, environment killer, key dial mini, can go back right into the box, absolutely useless. The cables that are shipped are also way too short, so if you want to have like normal cables, you know, you should buy them, because these cables here, they are way too short, get them. Pay more money, buy extra cables, because I wanted to um, install everything and it turned out to be that the cables are way too short, yeah? Absolutely hilarious, can't believe it. The pen is pretty nice, I like it. Now let me pull it out, that's also what your mom is screaming before I finish. <laughs> People are always stop acting like you are the center of the universe. You are not a god, Kenny, but I am a god, okay? I am out here every single day just grinding and hustling, chasing my dreams. And you? You lack values, you losers. A professional pen, a professional tablet for a professional man like me, baby. Who of you has the guts to do what I'm doing, hmm? Who? The rotten molding smell that already sinked into my walls, full of sweat and piss and tears and cum and your mom sent in my one square meter prison cell? The never ending feeling of not being a part of society, having no friends or real life, that's true dedication. I'm a true G dude, and a true G needs a true G pen, and a true G needs a true G pen display. That's how it is. There we have it. Mm, beautiful. Nice, shiny reflections. Better than reality. I also like the, the stands. They're like iron stands. Yeah, that you can pull out on the sides. They're like feeling like quality, you know. But I'm not using them anyway because I, I bought the extra stand, you know. So, waste of engineering. Again, wasted time, wasted money. But, you know, it is how it is. It is what it is. You know, for the people that are about KD and stats and all that stuff, you know, you can check the video description. There are more unnecessary details about the tablet. Product name, product model, color, pen size and so on, you know. All that unnecessary stuff. 
Now I could also show you my setup and pull out the ruler to prove that uh, the tablet is making straight lines and whatnot and that there are no driver issues or anything like that. It's really working fine, I like it. Once again, I can repeat myself with a price tag of around about 1,200 US dollars. It's kinda cheap to other companies, but still kinda expensive in comparison to like a like a piece of paper and a ball pen that is also getting the job done. I really like the big 4K screen. It really has nice colors. You can adjust it also. Um, the 10 milliseconds reaction time is really nice. That was a big factor for me. The arm is really nice um, because you can install it on a big desk. You don't have a loud big fan running. The tablet is kind of getting warm after a short amount of time. Um, then there is also the problem with the extreme bright white screen when you start it. Uh, the short cable problem, the key die mini is kind of useless and there's also no wireless USB um, adapter for it. Um, the wobbly dobbly arm, inappropriate packaging for that price tag and it took 13 days delivery time from the point that I ordered the tablet uh, until I hold it in my hands. Yeah, let's get right into painting and a quick painting time lapse. I wanted to go for like a GTA 6 style painting, but I don't know, my heart wasn't really in it and you know how it is when you paint something where your heart is not in it, you know. It was really like a quick painting that I did, you know, nothing special, the painting was inspired by the official new GTA 6 trailer and I also didn't have a good reference and I didn't like it, uh, like how it turned out, you know. It also just needed a lot more, a lot more work and time. Lately I'm also feeling a little bit unmotivated to hit and finish bigger projects because who wants to paint hours for hours or weeks or months on the same painting, man? It's also kind of hard to hit that GTA 6 style. It's like a, like a weird thing. Um, it's not like anyone is paying you to do that, you know? So, yeah. Man, sometimes I wish I just could sit here and play video games and paint some trash art that no one will ever see anyways and all day and night. And I don't know, lift some weights and make some shitty music and write some garbage stories, you know. That, that's, that's just what I like to do, man. Like, come on. In today's world, you're not even allowed to play Minecraft all day and night, alright? That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Yeah, anyways. And now, a message for the squad. Yes, for you. You out there, sitting there in front of the screen. Reach out to me. Yes, you out there can say what I should paint next. For example, please Kenny, master, can you please paint the wallpaper of Tokyo Ghoul? Or paint my OC, or I don't know, paint some Blade Runner stuff. Or please paint uh, this and that, or please do a portrait of this girl. Or I want to have a new Counter-Strike wallpaper, and can you please animate it? Yes, you out there can write in the comments what I should paint next under every video. Yeah, I really don't care. Tja, and if I like it, then I don't know, and I got the time for it, I then I need to do it. Yeah, so that's basically it. Everything for the fans. In Germany we say, Papa muss wachsen, baby. I always want to create something timeless, you know, like a masterpiece, something like legendary, something you can watch and come back to even in 10 years or more, you know. But I feel like everything that I do is like, yeah, not good enough, you know. It's just not enough, man. I need to do more and, and, and better and faster. But it's always hard if you don't know where you want to go, you know, so... But who knows, maybe you out there got the inspiration that I needed to press the magic stick and create something amazing, you know? You never know, you never know. Maybe in the future I will also get my own Discord running. I dream of a place where people can come together and share their art and play video games together and then Dota 2 and Minecraft and Counter-Strike and own, you know? And win and get stuff going, you know? like. 
It's always nice to see when people put their heads together to create something amazing. There's nothing better than swimming around sharks, you know. People always underestimate how big of an impact the people around you have on you, you know. When you swim with sharks, man, you swim with sharks. That's how it's going, man. But that's something for the future, I guess. I mean, I'm only here to chase cloud, you know. There's really nothing better than waking up in the morning, taking some noobs and uh, straight up grinding them right through the goddamn meat grinder, dude. I'm just smoking them. Everything I touch has to double up, man. People also want to, uh, people also want me to do some tutorials and guys, guys listen, I hear you, okay, but I don't know, am I a teacher? I mean, I'm a master, okay, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, alright, I never studied art, so what do I know, man, what do I know, man, I'm just doing some, some trash here, dude, but maybe in the future, who knows, who knows, man. Who knows what the future will bring. Not so long ago, I also met a girl online while playing some Overwatch. Just grinding, minding my own business, as, as usually, you know. And she was like five to six years younger than me, absolutely gone from reality. I still can't believe that I was talking to her. What a low level creature. And somehow we ended up on the um, topic YouTube and blah 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 and you know all that stuff. Small talk and then she said that she was always watching YouTube ads. Her entire life. I was like, are you mental? Are you dead inside? Is your processor working? Do we need to order a new CPU? Do we need help? Do we need a dock? I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I hope that I will never turn into one of those milking ads YouTubers in the future, you know. You know, maybe one ad at the start, maybe one in the middle, and maybe maybe one ad in the end. Max, max. But nothing more. You, can't, you, you really can't let these poor creatures watch YouTube ads all day, man. That's fucking terrible, alright? And then one day I will be so good that you can't look away anymore, dude. One day, man. One day. And then I will feel like number one, shining bright for everyone. And then I also know that I deserve to, dude. All these, all these fancy YouTubers out there, famous, with zero skill. All these millions and millions of hours and hours of just me doing my thing, man. That's, that's what's, what's my life is all about. About me, man. One million years, just me. Oh yeah. I think that this is also like my only 4K video that I will ever upload. Cause the time that it takes to like make a 4K video and render everything is way too long. Um, uh, that's worth the quality, you know. It's just not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. Yeah, kind of getting off topic here. I really don't like how the painting turned out. So, you know, I just painted painted another one that, uh, yeah, I also don't like. <laughs> I still hope that I could provide a little bit more information about the tablet and maybe help you with your decision if you should buy this tablet or not. Thanks for watching, everyone. Maybe you could get something useful out of it. Maybe not. Who cares? Thanks for watching and bye bye.